we got a sculpt sent in by Francisco. Francisco says, Hey, Falygon, I made this in a hurry, so there might be some mistakes. Francisco, ah, oh, Francisco, we talked last week and the week before. I really want you to spend some time on those, those early shapes. I really want you to spend more time on that. And we got a lot of the similar mistakes in here from the past couple weeks. Uh, this time I'm trying to sculpt uh, Giorno Giovanna. I think this is a, um, a uh, Jojo character. I'm not positive. But it's not a real person. It's not a real person, Francisco. We talked about this. <laughs> uh, I followed religiously the reference, not the actual sculpt fan art I'm going to provide, but I did try to follow the planes. I used a mirror on me so I could have some real head reference. That's good. Using your own head as a reference. Tried to make it different from my other heads. I drew some planes on my reference, and if you search on the net, you can get some refs for Gior Giorno. Giorno. I think that's this character. Um, sorry if there's writing errors, errors. I'm typing fast. No worries, man. Not a rush. Not a rush. Uh, have a good day. Thanks for the critique. And then I think there's some other stuff down here. Haven't had time to get better topology. Topology is not important at this stage, so no worries. Uh, things I tried to have similar. Big lips, jawline, cheekbone, chin line. So... Francisco, my advice to you is actually going to be the same as last week. I really want you to spend more time on these. Um, as you mentioned, you said this was something that you did fast. That's not what we want. That's not what we want. Um, we want mileage. So mileage means lots of hours. We want to get that mileage up. Because um, I'm seeing a lot of the same mistakes. And I'm hoping that you can see how thin this face and head looks in general. Uh, it's, you know, the more you look at and do this stuff, the better you will get. So that is why I recommend mileage and putting in your, you know, quote, 10,000 hours, whatever, however many hours it takes. So I, I really want us to spend uh, a lot more time on that stuff. So remember, we're, we're just like way too thin. Honestly, I could just take this head and I think I could just like stretch this out and start to like get it to be a bit thicker. I think I think that just immediately starts to feel better. A lot of the plane changes that you've done in here are a lot better. So I, I do appreciate that. You've done some good stuff there. Uh, the, the jawline that you have here uh, that you've defined isn't exactly what I'm seeing in this image. We want to kind of pull our chin back a little bit more and the spacing kind of between these lips. These lips need to move up a bit more. I think the mouth is a bit wide. That's something we've been seeing uh, in the past few sculpts. So really pay attention to not making that mouth too wide. Nose is too big in general from what I'm seeing there. Pull that back. And just defining kind of the volume out here because this is where your face is starting to feel quite a bit too thin as well. Other than that, I really think a lot of the stuff that we provided during our last critique of just really spending a lot more time in those lower um, lower geometric areas is gonna help you out a ton. Uh, stuff like this here, you know, this isn't nearly as defined as what you have. So instead what I would recommend doing is just kind of doing a quick like smooth out through here and just kind of use your clay tubes or whatever you end up using standard brush it doesn't really matter to kind of define that like what we're seeing in ours yours we got like these really hard kind of if i undo back we got this really hard transition there and that's just not like how flesh we, we would expect flesh to turn there so kind of redefining that i think will help you out um Jawline as we come up here to the neck. Probably want to reassess that transition a little bit more. I would probably start with just like a quick, quick couple trims here, or I'm sorry, quick couple pinches. And then start to build up that volume coming down the neck. And so 
So for your next head, this is what I want you to do. Because this feels just so very, very squashed. I'm not sure if you're using perspective while you're sculpting. Um, it kind of depends on the scale of your object in ZBrush, but in the next version of ZBrush, we are getting a real perspective camera. So that'll probably aid a little bit as well. But I want you to be using perspective with just the default value of 50, um, which is in your draw settings under perspective. Uh, your angle of view is 90 right now. That's why it's feeling so tight. So let's, let's drop this down to like 50 or so. I'm gonna close that. And let's just kind of like go back through. So I hope that you can see how thin your face is feeling there initially. And then with some kind of minor quick corrections to uh, some of those major shapes, that starts to feel a bit better pretty quick. I literally just came through and like stretched out your head very quickly. For your eyes, you've done a lot better job of getting some depth in here but your top lid is not really wrapping the way we would expect. Um, hopefully you can see how flat that top lid is there. Feels like very awkward. So we want to make sure that the eyelids that we're creating are kind of matching the lines that we're seeing here. Uh, but yeah, I think in general, I think a lot of the information here that I'm giving is, is very similar to our last critique and that's really what I, I want to avoid. I, I don't want to just continue to parrot myself each time. So again, really spend the time to block out your shapes. Really think about um, taking the time in those lower resolution stages. Get that mileage up. You've been doing a great job of heading in that direction, but I want you to get the mileage up on one of these singular heads a bit more so that we're not trying to rush through it, as you mentioned. And I think that'll really help you moving forward. As I mentioned last week, sculpting is really hard and it takes a very, very long time to, um, you know, quote, get good, right? But um, you're, you're heading in the right direction. I just want to see you spend a bit more time on... Um, on those earlier stages so that we don't have something like like that going on. I think you can probably see, I, I, I think when someone else points it out, I think it's uh, pretty obvious after that. But start, start working on that. Maybe for your next head, try to make it a little bit more wide. Uh, actually, you know, uh, even a better tip would probably be to try doing a female face since you've been doing a lot of male faces just to get you out of the headspace of what you've been doing so that you're no longer trying to create the exact same uh, shapes every single time. I think that might actually help you quite a bit in terms of um, just kind of like pushing forward and getting your your head out of um, kind of repeating the same same common mistakes we keep seeing over and over and over again. Stuff like down here in your jawline, just too, um, too thin. He's got like this, he's got a nice jawline, right? But it's at the same time, it's not like pinched through here super tight like what you had. So he's got more of a wrap going on in his chin, all sorts of good stuff going on through there. But that would be my advice to you. I know that was a kind of a, a short one, but I really do think just kind of focus on those things for the next one. Spend some more time. Don't be super concerned with you know trying to get a, a critique in every single week. Whereas spending some more time on these these kinds of things will I think really help you push and and level up to the next stage. Um, I actually saw uh, I can't remember who it was some video recently where I think this guy uh, put it into terminology that might make a little bit more sense for you. Uh, essentially what he was talking about, like your active and um, passive part of your brain saying that, you know, as we start to repeat and think about stuff more, it becomes more natural or more passive, right? So you're kind of getting a little bit too much into that automatic passive type stuff where you're repeating a lot of the same mistakes. Whereas instead, I want you to be a little bit more active with what you're trying to do, which is why I recommend trying a female face since it's going to be a little bit different than what you've been working on. Maybe try sculpting a hand. Maybe try to get away from faces for a little bit so that instead of trying to focus on faces, you're focusing more on form and get that, get that active brain starting to focus a little bit more and uh, get, that, get that brain muscle pumping.
but all right, cool, cool, cool. Had the face a lot thicker, but I used some reference on top of my sculpt, and the reference looked a lot more thin. I'll just, it might be something with your perspective, so be careful with the perspective that you're using there. You don't need to apologize if, uh, for it getting repetitive. Um, the, the objective of a critique is never to send in something and get, get applauded, right? Uh, the objective is to improve, and you're absolutely improving, but we're just seeing a lot of the same repetitive uh, mistakes, which is why uh, I recommend trying to switch it up with something uh, a little bit different so that you can kind of get your headspace away from the automatic kind of, well, this is how I've always done it. I try to, um, so I'm working on this new course that I've been working on since like um, October or November of last year, and uh, I will have an announcement about that at the end of the year. But one of the things that I really try to teach in all of my courses and try to focus on is trying to get away from having formulas, trying to have this kind of automatic um, situation where you kind of like, oh, this is how I sculpt a head, this is how I sculpt a hand, this is how I create clothing, this is how I make my eyes. I try to get away from that as much as I can because it puts you in this situation where you have something like what's happening now where your automatic brain, like your your muscle memory, let's call it, um, for kind of a better term I think that makes more sense and that we're kind of familiar with, um, you, you kind of start making the same mistakes as well as do, making the same like good good choices that you've kind of built up over time. But because of that, you know, you, you'll never have the chance to improve upon that process. So I try to always say kind of think about the form and less about the formula. Uh, so kind of thinking about the form and shapes that you need to create and how you're going to create them this time using the tool set that you have. Try to switch it up and try to get into um, a little bit of a a little bit of a different headspace, I think, can be very helpful and help you break past those limits.